It's quite sad how a large number of women suffer from heavy periods and or painful periods but these women do not know that they don't have to. They do not know that heavy and or painful periods are not things that they have to suffer for the rest of their life. You're not doomed to suffer these things. There are actually a lot of solutions to these things, okay? Your life doesn't have to be on hold whenever you're in your period. You don't have to suffer from it physically, emotionally, you know, mentally. And you know, socially, yes, socially, a lot of women, whenever they're on their periods, they are forced to, you know, go and hibernate. But in today's video, I'm going to be telling you some of the solutions that I have found and I have tested and have worked for me, you know, recently, fairly recently, considering that most of my life I've had my periods regularly, okay? I don't think I've ever missed a period when I wasn't pregnant. Typically, people that have heavy periods, see their periods between five to seven days or even more and they usually change their pads if they use pads they usually change their pads within you know every one to two hours like in my own case i noticed that if i you know leave my pad on for going to two hours likelihood i'll get stained you know is higher so every one hour i always change my pad if i'm going out you know i'll just be freaking out because i know that i need to change my pad as frequently as possible i can't even sit in one place and just you know forget about things and just you know how i can just go out and sit down and just be having fun no whenever i you know before because things have changed for me now before whenever i was on my period i used to go out and always sit like this and whenever i want to stand up i stand up and i check myself check myself check myself yes check check even with all the heavy pads that i was using i still had to check myself because if i didn't check myself then somebody would have to check me, okay? So quite frankly, the first and one of the most important things you need to know once you start having your periods is your menstrual cycle. A lot of women don't know their menstrual cycle and I'm always going to keep reminding you guys. Yes, your menstrual cycle essentially is the first day from your first period to the first day of your next period. You can go and research more about it, but just know that the rule of thumb is the first day of your first period to the first day of your next period, okay? You need to know this, whether you have heavy periods, light periods, no periods, you know, irregular periods or whatever. No, okay, not no periods, but if you have irregular periods, you still need to write these things down. You still need to take note of them, okay? And thankfully, technology has made so many things easier for us. You can actually have apps on your phone where you just impute your, you know, your data concerning your period. So whenever your period starts, you're going to impute the data, okay, today, my period started today. Uh, whenever your period ends, you impute the data as well. My period has ended. Then, you know, when you are having ovulation symptoms, for many people don't know when they are ovulating, to be honest, but if you are having symptoms, whenever, whatever symptoms you are actually facing throughout the month, throughout the period of your, of, you know, your cycle, whatever symptoms you are facing, it is good for you to impute these sim symptoms into an you know, into a period tracker or an ovulation tracker, but mostly a period tracker. A lot of women experience PMS, which are symptoms that you get before your period. You actually experience these symptoms before your period. Many women do not even know that they're experiencing PMS. That is why it is very important for you to impute these details in your tracker, okay? And one of the major reasons why you need to know your menstrual cycle is so that you can prepare for your period, so that it doesn't take you unawares. There are actually things that if you do before your period, you you are at least guaranteed that to an extent your periods are not going to be so miserable for you okay <laughs> you're not going to be so miserable throughout your periods yes trust me on this yes so one of the ways that you prepare for your period is by i mean no brainer having your tampon your pads your menstrual cups whatever it is for your use for your period try and have them handy okay yes so for people like me who are i have used pads almost all my life i haven't tried anything else although i want to try a menstrual cup i'm going to try it and give you guys feedback in the next video okay in another video try and get pads that are specifically meant for heavy flow yeah if you have real heavy flow you agree with me that even pads made for heavy flow do not work okay i'll get more into into all of that in the video but even pads made that they write heavy flow last longer you know 14 hours all night at this that and this that night pad whatever they do not work for someone who has real heavy flow okay the only way they can work for you is for you to change frequently but i'm jumping the god okay just know that you are going to be spending more than the average person more than the average woman 
on pads yeah i actually heard that menstrual cups are actually more affordable long term like if you just calculate it long term menstrual cups are actually more affordable but yeah i'll try that later i've never really tried it okay so get your pads ready and then also get your medication ready if you're someone that has to take medication you have to take things like painkillers ibuprofen um felvin paracetamol i take paracetamol most times and yes there's a myth or there's a story or i don't know that it is true that you know once you start having kids you stop having menstrual pain okay for me that was not really the case maybe three three kids after now i don't experience pain but after my first child and my second child i was still experiencing pain okay yeah so even sometimes now if i don't prepare adequately for my periods i still experience pain so if that's your experience let me know in the comment section if your periods became lighter or you stopped having pain after you had kids. If you can avoid sugar in your life, eh, just know that you have one, you have one in life, okay? If you can avoid sugar, you have one in this life. But if you can't avoid sugar, I mean, a lot of us cannot avoid it. And I mean carbs in general, a lot of us cannot avoid it. So try and avoid processed sugar as much as possible. And especially the period, the, the days leading to your period, the weeks leading to your, let's say a one or two weeks leading to your period, try and avoid processed sugar or you know white sugar or basically carbs try and avoid them as much as you can and i'm saying this with my full chest because i for one i realized that whenever i reduce my intake of sugar okay my periods become less heavy and become less painful so aside painkillers some other medications that can actually help you okay yes a lot of people will not tell you this a lot of doctors will not even tell you this but i researched on my own and i discovered this okay evening primrose oil as a supplement okay evening primrose oil if you can take at least 500 milligram of evening primrose oil every day trust me you are going to see a change in your menstrual cycle okay sometimes if you don't have regular menstrual cycle it can help to regulate your menstrual cycle and your menstrual cycles will you know become you know like 28 days another supplement you can also take i don't know to call it supplements but it herbs ginger okay ginger helps a lot ginger can actually help you get a period if you do not have periods okay like if your periods are not regular and you want to like induce your period but don't quote me on this so go and do your own research but i have heard that it works and it actually worked for me well not to induce period but it works for me to reduce pain so whenever i was on my period then i used to take ginger i'll just make a um, green tea and add ginger to my green tea and then drink it okay so i just blend ginger you know juice it and then pour it into my green tea i also used to make zobo a lot zobo i think zobo helps i'm not sure but i used to make zobo a lot and i'll add a lot of ginger like if you drink my zobo a very hot a lot of ginger in my zobo this and i used to drink it throughout my period and it actually helps to reduce the pain and also reduce clotting because sometimes the pain comes from the clotting if you guys know what i mean Sometimes the pain from the comes from the clot, and sometimes when a big clot is coming out, you feel like somebody's ripping out your uterus. Okay, it used to be that painful. So, taking ginger teas and all these things actually helps to reduce the clot sizes. Sometimes it just dissolves the clot and it comes out, you know, a little little particle. So it's not that painful. So if you experience dizziness or tiredness during your period or you know shortly after your period try and take iron supplements okay very important remember you are losing blood so you need to replenish your iron okay your iron the iron in your body you need to replenish it so that you're not weak or anemic you know um yeah so if you don't take iron supplements on their own you can actually buy a a supplement that has everything like well woman and you know stuff like that that has everything you need but if you especially suffer from heavy periods i would say try and get iron supplements those small red tablets that are very disgusting <laughs> especially when pregnant they are so disgusting those small red tablets or you know that are capsules iron you know supplements try and be taking them to help you with your strength then also take vitamin c vitamin c is very important vitamin c helps to you know it even actually helps with the iron absorption okay it helps your body absorb the iron it helps to you know give you strength helps to fight infection vitamin c also helps to reduce blood clots i don't know if that's what it does but i think i heard it helps to reduce blood clots as well just try and take vitamin c take iron supplements even primrose oil trust me and yeah omega-3 oils as well if you can't take them trust me if you take these four things okay there is no way your periods are not going to change okay it might not be 
fantastic. It might not just change and you not feel anything anymore, but trust me, you are going to you are going to see an improvement in you know the duration of your periods and the heaviness and also the pain that you experience during your periods. Okay. Another thing that used to help me a lot is dark chocolate. Also, try and reduce dairy products as well. Um, especially dairy products that have lactose okay so it's basically the sugar in the dairy that disturbs you so if you can reduce your intake of you know milk and stuff like that during that period try because these things actually cause bloating i don't know about you guys but me then whenever i take tea and i take tea with regular milk i used to be so bloated i used to feel so uncomfortable so yeah just try and avoid dairy products as much as possible especially dairy products that contain lactose okay so if you can take greek yogurt it doesn't contain lactose it's good for you like real cheese heavy cream those things don't contain lactose so those can actually help you can you can decide to switch to them or plant-based milk personally i hate plant-based milk i don't understand the concepts behind plant-based milk all this almond milk coconut milk uh, uh, soy milk all of them i hate them okay so if you're someone that tolerates them and you can take them then you can switch to plant-based milk or just you know avoid dairy for that period okay so now let's talk about how to protect yourself physically okay if you're a kind of person that anytime you stand up you're leaving map everywhere you go <laughs> always try and have a scarf or a sweater or you know something that you can tie around your waist maybe an oversized shirt if it goes with your you know your dressing for that day you can have an oversized shirt a sweater or scarf that you can quickly tie around your waist if you suddenly you know get stained okay then also to prevent staining if you're using pads let me show you one trick that works for me so one trick that works for me is actually using two pads okay in fact sometimes i use two pads and i use two pant liners let me not even explain too much let me show you guys how i do it okay yes yeah, so i take two pads like this and then let's say this is my panties this is actually not my panties this is actually small <laughs> But I bought this panty just to you know show you guys this um, explanation. Uh -huh. So this is my panties. This is the inside of my panties. Like yeah, if you have your panties, this is the inside. And I always go for full briefs. Okay, this one is not even that full. I think. Well, yeah, I think it's full. Yeah, I don't know if it's that full. But I usually like going for full, fuller briefs. That is the one that is almost like knickers. Yes, I prefer going for those. But this is the next best thing. So I like going for briefs like this. Um, yeah, so when you take one pad, it's actually a waste because I'm on my period. But I take one pad, right? So you know when you open a pad, there's usually a smaller part up here and the bigger part here. So this part is meant for the front and part is meant for the back, right? So this is actually a heavy, um, this is moped. So this is actually extra long, extra heavy flow. Um, yeah, this is not sponsored though, but I just like moped, okay? Um, yeah, moped. Yeah, maxi thick. So I use this one and, and I actually use this pack for my periods, okay? This pack that you're seeing here, this pack like this, I use it for my periods, okay? So this part that is made for the front, this smaller part made for the front, I take the front of my panties and put it the other way, right? So now the part made for the back is at the front of my pad, pants right so this part is going to be on the front like when you wear your panties this part is like going to be in front and that is where the bigger part is and then the smaller part stops at the crotch area okay i don't know if you guys are seeing this thing clearly the smaller part is now on the crotch area it's not even getting here so i just wrap this around and for me the way i wrap i always use pad with wings i can't use pad without wings okay the way i wrap my pad is i take these wings to the back and then I take the other wings and then I use the gum here. I gum the two wings together, not to the pants, okay? If you gum the wings to the pants, a lot of times when you are moving, you are, mo you are walking, you are sitting, you are standing, the wings will detach from the panties and can cause leakages, okay? So I actually gum the two. Oh, I'm simply press this. So I actually just gum the two wings together okay so it is now firmly secured behind can you see this it's firmly secured behind i put the two wings together okay so now that is for the first half of your pants like you guys if you guys can see this you will see that it is just the first half of my pants that has the pad the whole of the back area is quite empty right are you guys seeing this 
yes so now that's where my second part now comes in handy right yes this is what i go through every period <laughs> that's why i'm going to try a menstrual cup I, I i need to know let me know in the comment section if you have if you use menstrual cup and which type you use and where you get it from i want to actually get one and try now this second part now this part that is also meant for the front i now put it in the front where it's meant for but not in the front here i put it on the crotch area okay so this is the crotch area i don't know if you guys can see this line uh -huh. so this is the crotch area this is the back of the panties and this is the crotch area so i put this here and then put it up here on top of this one so it is on top of this one on top of the one that has been there before but the back now the pad now is now extra long this is where the pants is ending this is where the, the part this is where the pant ends and you can see that the pad is almost getting to this end okay so for this one as well i'll take the two wings and just try and put them where they can stop okay they usually cannot go back go to the end because this is the back like in this case now i just sealed these two just the, the beginning part of these two wings so just to go glue it together but the other part are just staying on the panties um yeah so this is my extra long <laughs> this is so funny so yeah you guys can see my pad now is lined almost from front to back like this is yeah it's lined <laughs> <laughs> from front to back and i mostly do this especially at night yeah if i don't do this i'm going to get stained like it's a no-brainer i'm going to get stained i always wake up at night often to go and change go and change go and change like it's very annoying so because of it i discovered this method and it works very well for me okay so what i was saying about also using pant liners sometimes if you know because this one went almost to the end because this is um this is a small pants okay this is for a smaller person when it, my own size of pants is right it doesn't get to this end it gets to somewhere here right so this part that ends here okay yeah so if it's my own panties now the panty will still continue to somewhere here okay so this part i just take a tiny a very small pant liner and put it this way across like this okay so let's say this is the pant liner i just gum it across like this okay like this to keep it in place i do that for the front and the back so yeah that's the struggle but let me just tell you guys that it doesn't mean that you won't get stained if you have heavy periods okay so even if you do all of this you still need to change as often as possible do not wait till you feel you literally feel like you're about to be stained or you're stained before you go and change just tell yourself that you know what everyone now can change whether the part is full or not i'm just going to change because sometimes even throughout the day like for me my day two three four is really very heavy okay my periods will last seven eight days with iud when i, I had iud inserted it became worse okay so my periods will last like seven six eight days sometimes 14 days with the iud but before the iud it used to last exactly six five days and then six days a little bit of spotting but just know that day two three four and five of my normal periods then used to be so heavy that i just need to change anyhow because if i say oh okay like i was trying to explain now sometimes during the course of the day you might wake up in the morning i might not really have heavy periods and then in the afternoon you have heavy periods and then in the evening it's not really that heavy and then at night it is feeling as if there's a tap okay so you might not you can't tell when things will change things can suddenly change you can cough and then a full rush of blood you guys know all these things now you can cough you can laugh you can sneeze and you literally feel the blood coming out okay in fact it happened to me several times that i either coughed or laughed or sneezed and then blood was trickling down my leg thankfully i was at home when it happened but imagine how embarrassing it would be for you to be in public and someone cracks a joke and you're holding yourself from laughing because if you laugh you're going to be a woman with the issue of blood you know so it's really sad it's really annoying but it's something that you have to live with okay so you can just do all these things to help you but now all this said okay after all this has been said please make sure you go and see your doctor if you are experiencing debilitating you know um, um, heavy period like when you can't really do much with your life you can't you know be social you can't go out you are feeling pain you know your the pain is so bad when i was younger i used to go and take injection in the hospital they used to give me injection in the hospital just to help ease the pain okay so if it was if it's that bad for you i suggest that you go and see a doctor go and see a gynecologist okay i don't know why you know growing up we didn't really take it seriously like i never saw it, i never saw a doctor for it i just had to manage it month after month 
But I mean, you're going to be seeing your, your period for the rest of your life, except when you're pregnant, okay? So I'll just advise you when you're younger and you're experiencing these things, go and see a doctor. Sometimes it might be a symptom of something even worse, okay? The heavy periods, the painful periods might be a symptom of something worse. You can be, you can be having fibroids, you can be having endomy, endometriosis endometriosis i don't know <laughs> endometriosis yeah you might be having endometriosis you might be having fibroids you might be having you know um, ovarian cysts and stuff like that so the earlier you can figure out these things the earlier you can find it out the earlier you can get a diagnosis for it the better for you right um but aside that there are other things that doctors can do to help you they can put you on birth control i'm actually considering this one next okay so now i am on the iud but the iud is the interuterine device right which helps prevent pregnancy right but there's I'm on the non-hormonal IUD but the hormonal IUD which is Mirena can actually help reduce your periods to little or nothing okay so doctors if they see a need for it they might actually put you on the hormonal IUD um, there are actually pills that they can give you as well to help regulate your period and stuff like that I think there are also birth controls too or maybe just medication on its own that is meant for it okay so they can do that um, if you have fibroids or endometriosis or stuff like that they can remove the fibroids they can you know drain your your uterus and stuff like that um, if you have polycystic ovarian syndrome pcos there's medication for it um, this, but the symptoms that people that have pcos face the most is usually irregular periods that's the ones that that face symptoms some people don't even have symptoms the ones that have symptoms um, irregular periods is one of them so they can actually give you things to help you know get your periods you know regular or things to help induce a period and stuff like that anyway um yeah so just go and see your doctor tell your doctor what, what you are going through there's always a solution for it you don't have to suffer in vain you don't have to suffer out of ignorance you don't have to suffer in vain because there are things that can help you because remember as women there are so many things that we have to face in this life biologically okay Forget about what society is putting on women. Biologically, as women, we have so many things we have to deal with from our periods to our, you know, hormonal changes to our emotions and stuff like that. So anyone that you can help, help it. Anyone you can solve, solve it. Anyone you can cure or you can treat, treat it, okay? So that you can live your life a, as a happier person. You can excel in the workforce because imagine having periods heavy periods like this that make you almost you know inactive or make you affect your life basically and then you have a presentation to present okay or you have a meeting a very important meeting with a client or you have something important to do with your life but you're there you can't do much because of a period so please just if you can get help get help okay but i hope that all these tips that i have given you in today's video can actually help you let me know anyone that you already know of and has worked for you or the ones that you didn't know of and you are willing to try and if you try them you know you can come back to this video or let me know on uh, you know via dm my handle is at a space so if you have daughters that you know are of age and are about to see their period or already seen their period or you have you know cousins or nieces and stuff like that send these videos to them because i feel like it is it's helpful to everybody but it is more helpful to younger people who are just starting out so they know that they don't have to deal with these things, okay? You don't have to be embarrassed in school, staining yourself in school, you know, your mates, your classmates feeling sorry for you. Most people don't laugh, okay? Except the person has a not lose, you know, in their head. Most people don't laugh if you have, you know, a stained, you know, um, um, outfit in public, but, you know, it's still embarrassing for you, okay? So try and get help. You don't need to go through the pain, the crying, the sorrow, the weeping, the, the, the going to the hospital. You don't need to do all that. Just try some of these things that I've mentioned in today's video. Then also see your doctor and yeah thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you found this video helpful and i'll see you in my next video bye guys